Welcome once more to the party over a decade in the making, part 16 of the Devil May Cry 5 playthrough. Now we've hello got... there, old friend. No, Here it's... we have the new gimmick for King Cerberus. You can switch, uh, uh, you use triangle for the nunchucks. Oh, I missed, I missed the rest of it. I think Circle for the staff. Uh, three section staff. And squares of staff. Uh, I can't remember. Now here's V giving Nero some backstory on his origins and he's also going to be telling Nero a little something Dante has not bothered to tell Nero for a very long time. <laughs> because folks, Dante never told Nero about Virgil once, not ever. So now it's time for Nero to learn about Dante's brother, Virgil. Mm -hmm. He is Dante's older brother. Nero is only just finding this out for the first time. Dante's brother? Yes. V is also preparing Nero with this information yeah. as well. His real name is Virgil. No. <laughs> that no. No Vorkle. That's the Dante's game. We don't yeah. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> or we will when we get to it. Yeah. Here I... Uh, Suddenly we're in the sky. <laughs> uh, oh wait, uh, yeah. Here I switch to the EX color for Dante. Makes him look like oh, Dante. Oh, Dante. Our small tease for the reboot. But, uh, but unlike Dante, Dante rocks that look pretty well, I would say. <laughs> Especially when he's hanging sparred on his back like that. Let's see what we're getting. Drive. Here is your shockwave attack for uh, Devil Sword Dante. What, the song by the cars? No. <laughs> Can't go wrong. It's, thinking. it's crazy to see how far Dante has come. Now he's swinging a blade around that has his own name on it. Like father, like son. Yeah. And Virgil will be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I get the sword that's called Dungeon? <laughs> oh, some swords are mine now. Let's see, uh, real impact. Oh, this lets you use, remember, the very powerful uppercut that the Gauntlets had in Devil May Cry 4. Mm -hmm. Now, you, if you get Swordmaster level 4, you can use it once you've ignited Balrog with a fire. It's the same combination as it was in Devil May Cry 4. Backwards, Stinger Command with Circle while in Swordmaster with Balrog equipped. But you must ignite the Gauntlets first in order to use it. I'm trying to see what... I think that might be my whack for now. <laughs> I honestly thought I was gonna. I, I honestly thought you were gonna say that would be my wax for now. Like, what? No, it's just a phrase I hear. But that's your whack. Like that's uh, all you're getting for now. I think that's what. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Here we go. That background looks awfully familiar, wouldn't you say? It's Why the, am I going it's back the, into the shock? Oh Did shoot! I, I forgot. Something? You forgot something. Oh, I'm switching out. I think I'm. Yeah, I'm getting rid of servers because I it. just got the weapon. Oh, and it's like, at this point, it had been a very long time since I'd gotten any gotten good with it so it was like right. I had just come off of platinuming the game but I wanted to keep things simple for this run right. not oversaturate my inventory with weapons and play your split safe yeah use what I'm good at let's just say rainstorm and jump cancels are going to be your best friend in this fight yeah this is Virgil's home Dante mission Virgil's home isn't it mission 17 brothers yeah this is their home yep Wow, Dante, you look ten years younger. <laughs> oh, thanks. But Virgil, you look like shit. <laughs> Remember the fruit we were talking about earlier? Yeah. This, is, this is it. Just All the human demons. blood that's been shed Virgil. for the sake of this selfish asshole's ambition for power. Once again. Hey, and Dante is so to me. absolutely sick and has had enough of it at this point. <clears throat> <clears throat> I noticed the music changes yeah. a nod to free. It's kind of sad, actually. Because Eva saved Dante first and then went to go find Virgil, but Virgil had gone missing already. Mm -hmm. And that cost her life. Yeah. Yeah. I think it kind of gave him the idea that because she was able to save Dante, <coughs> so he thinks she chose to yeah. save him first, mm. rather than Dante was the first one she came across. The, their old home, it's all an illusion that's been created by the Clyphod, specifically for this area. The atmosphere in this fight is incredible, by the way, because the further you get in the fight, the more it crumbles. 
and everything is starting to like fall away. Which I suppose could be symbolic of just how you know any last traces of humanity and yours and yeah are being discarded. And at this he's, point. Eating, he's eating it like an apple. Yeah. Yeah. He whatever humanity he just he had left he just threw it away. Uh, he's just he's left with just. He totally. is. Virgil is officially beyond saving yeah. at this point. I think that's one of the kind of connections. Yeah. Like he's called Eurizen because he yeah. called him Your Reason. So that's where you get the name from. I do love that Dante still refers to him as brother, uh, even yeah. now, because that is the sad truth he has to confront. Yeah. You just lost it. Ribbon Langdon does such a fantastic job in this game. Oh, he's got the G virus. Who would have yeah, known? Only Clyde Fortress. There were one yeah. serving as his weapons and armor. No, just hold him back. Oh, he's got I lots of love, eyes. love, fucking love this boss theme. They used it in the final trailer. Here we go. Let's finish this once and for all. Now, if you dash at him immediately, you'll get a good head start on him because he will start off with the shockwave. You can block this with Royal Guard. If you do it, just guard. Yeah, let's see. There's oh. Royal Guard going to work with Royal Revenge. <laughs> do another Royal Guard. Yeah. God damn. There's that just guard and Royal Revenge stacking up that damage really well. Now his basic form of attack in the first phase, he'll do very telegraph. He'll try and Falco punch you actually. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what he's doing. And he'll do kicks as well. Ah, that's enough. Oh wait. <laughs> Fuck. That's how you know an attack's powerful if it floors you in Devil Trigger. <laughs> yeah, he uses a combination of his uh, basic attacks that he was using when he was sitting on the throne. But now he'll... He pretty much wants to be Sagat from Street Fighter. Because <laughs> he's pretty much fighting in a Muay Thai yeah. sort of style, actually. <laughs> so, his, so his life's work, his quest for power only to Watch. Either. Oh yeah, another just royal release. You're not going to wait until you fill up the bundle? What? I'm not... Uh, no, I'm not going... Nah, not this time. I, I'm very good at managing my Devil Trigger and Royal Guard. <coughs> I love this next line from Dante. I don't... The delivery on that line's great because it really does like cement just how sick Dante is of it. Because this feud has been going on for years, no, for much. years since right. Devil Cry 3, and it's all come to a head. Oh, by the way, if uh, the EX color also extends to the Devil Trigger for Dante, like oh, he'll be his Devil Trigger looks more blackish instead of like red. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> yeah. In this fight, you're gonna take a lot of damage if you fuck up. So it's like this is your first real big, big test of all the skills you put in. Jump cancels plus Ebony and Ivory Rainstorm are wonders here. You get to insane heights. No, yeah. I, I'd imagine because Virgil's absorbed all his power, he's he's got all this strength and a new look. But I, I imagine he's also developed a new weakness. At his arrogance, essentially. Yeah. But he believes he's unstoppable now. In fact, I wouldn't even. I think it wouldn't even be. Yeah, you saw me release the energy there. That's the normal release. Mm -hmm. But if you do the release command within a six-frame window of an attack hitting you, you do the just royal release that you saw me use, where you dash through them. But that's the hardest attack in the game to master. No, I am a god, and even kings bow to gods. What, Wesker? What the hell is he doing here? This isn't even the right franchise for you. The you mentioning God Six and. The lower entry in the database, mm -hmm. when Nico actually does, because Nico's the one that's written all down, she says to defeat yours and in this form, you need the power of a god. Yeah. <laughs> Dante might, yeah, pretty much. Where's Superman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he starts using the lasers that he used in the he's second. He's a bird, he's many lasers. When the la stay in the air for as long as you can until the lasers disappear, or... When he, he sends out two of the lasers at a time, get behind the lasers because they will not reach behind them. So it's a case of managing your distance effectively. What, what's with the crack in the sky? That's the. It, this is an illusion created by the Clyphod. Then I think with Dante even still being able oh, to shit. match him. At this this point. attack. Oh, oh, this attack sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that could have been a fatality. Yeah. Is if you heard from the dialogue, there's like yeah, you're in you know, Virgil's actually freaking out. Like, you know, how are you that strong? Yeah, he yeah. thought he had to lose something, uh, <laughs> but so it's like Dante be, never lost so anything. The could be like, reflective of his mental state at this point. You know, yeah. all, you know, the thing, the beliefs he's had for basically all his life and his life's work. Meaningless. And Dante's just really, yeah, you had the wrong idea. Huh. 
Now he adds an additional hit after the initial kick in the final phase. We're on the final phase, by the way. Royal Guard is your best friend against this. Use Royal Revenge to counter it. If you if you get hit by the first attack, attack you of that, you'll be impaled on it, and then he'll dash over to you and punch the living shit out of you for a lot of damage. You can evade it with the air hike as well, but you need to be really high up, and I do mean really high up. I think it's like this attack right here. He follows. Oh yeah, there's another one of those awesome just guards. Come on, get that royal guard ready. <laughs> Nope, as long as I have Devil Trigger Gage still there, he ain't touching me. Unless it's Hell and Hell, in which case you'd break through my guard right away. When your guard gets broken, it, you'll be left wide open for a... Like it's just stunned? Yeah. yeah. But as long as you have Devil Trigger and you're not on Hell and Hell, you will not immediately lose all your Devil Trigger. It, the amount of Devil Trigger you lose, I think it is dependent on the strength of the attack. And boom! And yeah, is out. That's it! The long-running feud between the brothers is finally over. Yeah, in the background, like, Nero is still carrying V towards... Oh, yeah, he's explained that offense to them. Yeah. They truly are the Naruto and Sasuke of the Devil May Cry universe, Dante and Virgil. <laughs> One carefree, happy, the lucky, the other a brooding, power-hungry asshole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what's right. become of that power-hungry asshole. Yeah. And again, that is Dan Sofor voicing and more capping your resent. Well, it, it or makes I might sense. well just call him Virgil at this point. Yeah, because <laughs> right. it is him. Yeah. Sorry, I was <laughs> late to the party. Why are you trying to copy my hairstyle? So he was behind all this. No flesh and blood. Right again. Yeah, Dante, that they're Dante just sort of learning that V told him exactly mm -hmm. who it is. Yeah. So, but Dante sort of like, oh, wait, at least you know who it is, but we're not, we'll talk about it later, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, and that's how it's, um, for all the emotion Dante was showing throughout the fight, he's back to dismiss Happy go lucky, because uh, he knows that it's over. Yeah, Dan, I think he's also just kind of like, you know, if Nero thinks it's like, oh, this is getting to you, he might stick his nose in for uh, yeah, at this point, Dante's work is finished. He's done what he said to do it. What's left is for V to administer the finishing. Oh, the irony. <laughs> <laughs> v in this state. Yeah. <laughs> finishing off years in. Yeah, so if they're both halves of Virgil and one has to kill the other, is this technically suicide? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if V just thanos away right before he oh. tried to finish him off. <laughs> Uh, you're already flat on your ass and you can't yeah. even get back up. <laughs> I love Dante just sort of uh, shaking his head. So sharp of power, were you? Yeah, he's done. I know. We are one in the same, you and I. Man, poor V, look at him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least he finally gets to end the battle for himself once and for all. Yet we are connected by that one feeling. Brian Hanford does such a fantastic job in this scene. Mm. So V's the human half of Virgil, and yours ends the Demon demonic Man. half. What do you think would happen if they both merged? Dante realizing way too late what's going on. Andrew. Oh shit. Yep, yep. <laughs> guess who's back? Oh, Sorry, watch, I watch for the the title thing they give mm -hmm. him. Oh crap. Hype, hype, hype! Indeed. <laughs> Sorry I was late for the yeah, party. What is this? This is Nero's first meeting of Virgil. God damn. Yep, I love the new colour of his outfit. Yeah. <laughs> The Alpha and, and the, the Omega. Omega. Motivation engaged. Yep. Virgil's back, bitches. Yep. yep. At long last. So that's good. there goes V then. Yep. Yep, that set V is gone for the rest of the game. Because he has rejoined with Virgil.
But there is a specific reason he wanted to do it like that, though. In order to, I think it was to force his human side back into yeah. him as a whole. Yeah. And it was by Virgil's hand that this all started, not yours. And ten saying it. It's like. Then again, I think we. <clears throat> you think you should have realized the clue could in he's called V. Yeah. So yeah. that was the clue right there. Lante yeah. immediately on edge again yeah. because. And also proving that his fight with Yurizen had an impact on him. Yeah. Mm. Also rushing in recklessly as well. Virgil didn't actually do anything to Dante right away there. Dante just sort of charged headlong in. Well, because he knows he's means bad business. Yeah. Get out of my way, Nero. uh, Nero's all the way over in Australia, Dante. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that was just a uh, sensory really saying "bugger off." This has no meaning. Oh, Dan yep, Southworth. Dan Southworth. He's back again. Nice. Yeah, we brought this up earlier when he was mm -hmm. separating Julia himself Rose, from his human side. Yeah. Get strong. Get good. After that, we'll settle the matter. Get on my level. <laughs> so what, is Virgil still going to go on with his plan with this whole Clyford thing? He's at this point. I think he's just after one last showdown with Dante. Yep, that confirms right there Nero. that Virgil was indeed the one who stole Nero's arm. Mm -hmm. Ironically enough, I have Nero equipped with the imitation of the power he lost thanks to Virgil. So uh, yeah, <laughs> no Dante's wonder, pissed. No wonder what Nero's thinking right now. What happened to me? This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the whole game yeah. because of Andrew. We got more stuff coming up. Uh, I don't fucking think so, Dante. Johnny Ogosh does such a fantastic job here. You don't get it. Let me guess. I'm dead weight. Well, you can show it. it what is it there? He's your father. After over a decade of no confirmation yeah. in game. Yeah, right. Finally, yes. So he's Darth Virgil now. Also, folks, if Virgil is Nero's father and Dante is Virgil's brother, what does that make Dante? His uncle. Mm. Yep. yep. And, uncle. and apparently, according to the DMC4 manga, Dante, you know how Dante was flashing his devil trigger mm -hmm. uh, uh, by mistake in 4 when Nero was punching him? Yeah. He does that in a different location in the novel, and apparently, he only does that. When there's a blood yeah, relative nearby. He was at the top of the castle in the novel when that happened. When Nero awoke his devil trigger. Oh shit. Then who's the mother? We don't know. The, the novel, oh, I don't know if it's canon, but the novel heavily implied. The, the novel goes into some really sad backstory. Apparently Nero used to get bullied for being the but son of a prostitute. Apparently. I think that was uh, the implication. I don't know if that was ever confirmed in the story. It's just that uh, he was left on the doorstep of the Order. Um, wait, but with and, how? And the Clyde Yeah, we were just going to go and the Clyde well, Fods, parents didn't want you, you must have been. And yeah. the Clyde Fods now growing in space. Yeah, basically. It's emerging, space tree. It's emerging out of the planet and it's essentially sending demons and onto the planet. So... Virgil's just gonna do this just for the sake of being power now because this is Urson's gone He's waiting to. for Dante. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, all right, one last fight with Dante, then we'll I'll see what I can do. To maybe fix all this shit that's happening. Maybe we don't know if he would actually do it though. Let's settle this, Dante. Yeah, so he's just gonna, you know, with him, now that he's got V back, he's gonna realize the whole rivalry is basically just he wants to prove he's better than Dante yeah. or stronger. So he's not really a conqueror. No, no. no it doesn't matter. by his ridiculous and petty obsession with defeating Dante. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, he never actually kind of implied anything more than what you know. I'll have a slang. Because <laughs> yeah. we've known Virgil's wanted power since day one. He's never actually made any claims, or at least direct claims, as to what he's going to do with it. In fact, Dante even asked him that. I'll have Nico. I love how Nico essentially shoehorns Lady into having paid for the damn <laughs> new Kalina Anne. Nico made a new Kalina Anne for a lady. But if you found the other Kalina Anne. You get both of them. Yep. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah! Double the firepower to get a certain someone's ass. We'll see you guys in the next part. Yep.